Hey guys, so on this episode of Make It With Calvin, I'm going to give you my initial printing impressions on my Polymaker Polymide PA6GF. And from the get-go, if you don't have a printer that can go 280 to 300 degrees Celsius with an all-metal hot end and updated firmware, go check out my dad's Corvair videos on here. They're pretty awesome. He'd love to hear your comments on it. If you do have a machine capable of doing that, stick around. You might find this interesting. Okay, so to start things off, I was going to print the GoPro rigs that Danielle and I took out to the Grand Canyon in this. In short, I didn't realize the higher printing temperature, which is why I mentioned it from the get-go. And now that I've got the printer hooked up with the all-metal hot end and the updated firmware, which was a bit of a headache, go check out the video on that if you're curious, I can now print with this. So, I've done some modifications to the GoPro rig. I'll have a separate video on that if you wanna go and check that out. I'm just gonna focus on the filament in this video. But so far, printing with it, I'm actually very, very impressed with it. I'll keep it short and sweet and say, like with any nylon, you're gonna to need to print at a high temperature. You're gonna to need to print at a relatively slow speed. And you're going to wanna keep it as dry as humanly possible because nylon is a moisture sponge. And especially at higher printing temperatures, that water will boil, that causes problems. You get where I'm going. So when it came to printing this, it actually was a lot easier than I thought. I stuck it into the filament dryer that I featured here previously on the channel, oops, and dried it for about 12 hours at the highest temperature setting that it had. I did throw a desiccant pack in there just for good measure as the ambient humidity out here is quite high. We've had a lot of fog. Figured it can't hurt. Okay, so when it came to the print settings, I'm gonna overlay them on the screen here. The one caveat I will make is when I mention the bed temperature, that's being read at the stock bed probe as I have the original glass bed, some silicone heat pads, a sheet of glass, and then the print surface, both PEI, which I used initially for this print, and then I jumped over to some build tack nylon that I've had for literally years and never gotten around to using. So the 45 on there, probably closer to the 75 to 85 degrees ambient room temperature out here, but I didn't have any problems with warping and for a print of this size, that is very impressive because nylon likes to go and turn into a Pringles chip. Now, the one thing I will say about the copper nozzles that I used is strictly because they were cheaper. Normally I'm a fan of micro Swiss plated brass nozzles, but I was actually able to get the copper ones for like $5 less than nozzle on Amazon and a little bit quicker as well. So that is the only reason why I went with them. To be perfectly honest, I viewed the nozzles as a completely consumable item. And when I got done printing all the parts, I was going to take that nozzle and yeet it into the yeet bin never to be used again, because by that point, I legitimately expect the thing to be blown out. Personally, when it comes to printing an abrasive material like this, I don't do it super often, so I'd rather just get a couple of cheaper nozzles, switch them out as needed, toss them in the bin when we're done, then have like one super expensive ruby diamond unicorn fairy dust nozzle. Not worth it to me. So in conclusion, is this material a bit more expensive than other nylons on the market? Yes. Is this going to be the go-to for every project? Absolutely not. One thing to keep in mind is this stuff is extremely stiff, and if you want a nylon that has some give, there's lots of other nylons out there. I actually wanted a very stiff nylon for this because when we were using the rig, I don't want an uneasy feeling. I want that thing to feel rock solid. So that's the reason why I went ahead and gave this a shot. Oh, and I really like the color too. So if you guys are interested in this filament or any of the other things that were mentioned in this video, I will have an Amazon affiliates link down in the description below. No obligation to buy through it, but it does help me buy rolls of filament, heat set inserts, and make content like this. So hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you here next time on Make It With Calvin.